Hey guys, welcome to our 13th lesson of our certification training for the exam MO300, so Microsoft Office Specialist PowerPoint Associate 2019, and in today's lesson we will learn to order and group objects on slides, okay? So the lesson objectives are order shapes, images and text boxes, Align shapes, images, and text boxes, group shapes and images, and display alignment tools. Perfect, so let's start by ordering shapes, images, and text boxes. And we can perhaps start by inserting those three. So let's insert a shape, for example. Let's insert a picture. So we have the one picture from one of the beginning lessons and let's insert a text box mm -hmm. text box and perhaps some built-in style like that. Perfect. So now order these three. The tools you are looking for are on the shape format tab under the arrange group. So by ordering these three we mean which object is at the top and which in between and which at the bottom for example. So here you can see that the, when I have this text box selected I can send it one level backward by clicking this button or I can send it to the back all together, okay? So let's say that in the exam task I need to have this image at the top and the this triangle in the middle. We could also, for example, open the selection pane if you want to be super careful and now we can simply click the picture and move it at the top and click the triangle and also move it at the top like that. So this is one of the advantages of using the selection pane that you can clearly see which object is at which layer, for example, okay? Now, align shapes, images and text boxes. So, the alignment tools are in the same group. You can see we have our align options and to align multiple objects you have to firstly select them. So, let's for example just place them like that and to align those three we I hold the shift key I select those three I go to the shape format tab and click align and for example we can align to the left okay so the most left object which at the moment is the picture will be the border at which all the objects will be aligned like that Perfect. We could also, for example, align the objects at the top. So now the top border of this isocellus triangle will be the border. Align at the top. And one neat feature in PowerPoint is that you can distribute objects horizontally. So, for example, let's say that we want to have the same amount of space between all those three so I can simply select them and perhaps I can add one more like that and click align distribute horizontally and now you can see that there is the same amount of space between all of these objects okay perfect the next objective is to group shapes and images to group you can simply select them by using the shift key and either you can right mouse click 
and choose group here or you can go to the shape format tab and click group here okay and another objective might be to ungroup some objects so you would simply select this group and click ungroup perfect and the last objective if I'm not wrong is to display alignment tools and to view alignment tools you go to the view tab and here under the show category you have all the alignment tools so you can see that currently we only see guides and we can also turn on the ruler so for example when I am moving something in cross we can see the indicators along the ruler we can also for example turn on the grid lines for more precise alignment and when you click this arrow you have even more options so for example we can click snap objects to grid like that and when I insert for example a small rectangle or square in this case you can see that they snap to grid like that there are quite a few objects at the moment so yeah but they snap to grid perfect and when you want to turn off these alignment tools you go back to the view tab and simply uncheck the ruler and the guidelines okay so this is all for today's lesson i hope everything is clear if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to support the channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!